prayers up blessings up look in this video i want to talk about soil the more i get into growing foods the more i'm starting to see how important soil is in the process my name is jabez l israel i got a goal to bring over a million fruit trees to america you can call me jabez mango seeds look at right here check these out these are some of the fruit trees that I'll be dropping off. What I do is we'll do giveaway videos and we pick out uh, winners of uh, people down here in Miami. We're starting in Miami. And uh, I germinated all these fruit seeds, man. This right here, look, this is a jackfruit tree. This one right here is a, a avocado. This is a mango tree. I actually got this seed from um, San Juan, Puerto Rico. That mango seeds checking in live in Puerto Rico. We in San Juan right over here. This is Old Town. If you look up here, it's lit. This is the lit part of San Juan. It's like old school, man. They got the... Uh, the forts and all that from way back in the days, but I have never seen this. What what month we in right now? We in January. January. In Miami, you only see mangoes like in the summertime. Look at this. We got mangoes in the winter in Puerto Rico. I didn't even know it. Look at all the mangoes up there, man. I, I ain't never, look, I'm about to try to break this one open. Look at this. Look at that thing. In January. Oh, wow. Jabez mango seeds. Hold on, I'm about to taste this. I'm about to taste this. This dropped on the ground. I picked it up off the ground. Hold on. You sweet? I think. Sweet. Really? I'm gonna have to keep this mango see and germinate when I get back to Miami. Prayers up, blessings. It's the point what I'm trying to make is um two years ago I decided to master agriculture. Throughout the process over the last two years, I just been documenting the journey in short form content. But I'm going to start doing more long form content like this for YouTube. And today I want to talk about soil. If you like my content, smash the like button. You feel me? Send this video to somebody that you know that's growing because I'm trying to connect with all the growing community nationwide to be real with you. And uh, man, subscribe. You feel me? So check this out, right? What I want to talk about is because I'm starting to learn about uh, permaculture. And so it's a, a method of growing that is really resonating with me. And I haven't really done it, but I kind of am and didn't even realize it. So look, I grew this tree right here, this avocado tree. I grew that tree from seed. Yeah, we calling this one Avi. This is an avocado tree. Uh, but notice this, right? So permaculture is basically a, a method of growing where you have trees, tall plants that grow, and then you have medium plants that grow, then you have the smaller plants that grow. And so each level feeds the next level. From growing like that, basically, all the nutrients from the bigger trees and the smaller trees as they die off, go back into the soil to give the soil everything it needs to keep producing. And so what I've been noticing is like, is, as I'm growing, so this is a garden right here, right? I made this garden basically because I wanted to have lettuce, but during the winter months is the best time to grow lettuce down here in Miami and it get too hot during the summer. So I grow different things during the summer, but I'm about to put lettuce in here. But what I noticed was every time I grow, I got to replenish the soil with nutrients. Is what I've been noticing. And if you if you look right here, because I actually took a sweet potato plant out of here. Look at this. This the first purple sweet potato from out of the harvest. Look, I'm about to wash it off. This is free food, man. <laughs> the more we grow, the more we'll see everything we need is free. But if you look at this soil, it's real dry. It hasn't been raining either, but still, usually it'll be it'll be weeds growing in this. But like, there's really no nutrients left in this soil. From the plants that i grew prior um especially that sweet potato plant like it, it sucked all the nutrients out the soil and so what i'm noticing is unless i put new nutrients back into that soil it ain't really gonna grow good as opposed to the way nature is naturally like if we were to just let nature grow on its own eventually the soil will just start getting replenished with nutrients and so this is an example of what i noticed from this tree notice that right now these leaves are starting to fall back and this is the second year where i've noticed this happen with this tree um and notice all the leaves are on the ground. So all of this is nutrients, man. This is calcium that's going back into the ground, all these dried leaves. And over time, that break down and get back into the soil. And the roots of this tree can use those nutrients to keep on growing. So you see how it's like a replenishment, how it's replenishing itself. But you know, like how we are, we'll break all these leaves up and throw them away to keep everything looking nice. So what's going on is the tree is pulling nutrients out of the ground, is growing. And as it grows and drops leaves, it's dropping the leaves to give the ground more nutrients, but we'll rake them up and throw them away. And it's the same with farmland. We pull nutrients out the ground and we're not replenishing them naturally. And then on top of that, a lot of it's a lot of chemical fertilizers that's getting put out on the ground. There's a scary study that say 85% of the nutrients that was in the topsoil of this country are gone now. So there's 85% less nutrients in the topsoil of America compared to 100 years ago. 
which is scary. So I'm on a mission to bring nutrients back to the soil and I'm learning as I grow, you know what I'm saying? Like, and so this is the idea that I have. When it comes to composting, right? We've been throwing scraps, this is our compost bins. So we've been throwing scraps, like we do a third of carbon, a third of nitrogen, and a third of soil from out of the ground to make compost. And I did a composting video about it. You could check it out, Composting 101, I believe I titled it. It's on my page, but anyway, but if you look, look at how this soil looks, look at the worms I got in there. Ooh, that soil, you see how this soil dark? And, it's, and it's, it's, it just look good. You see how that soil look compared to, look at how this soil look over here. How dry it look compared to that. Look how this soil look compared to that soil. You see? You see what I'm saying? This soil is packed full of nutrients. That's the way I want my soil looking. So that soil looked like that because like we'll throw all our scraps in there. Like, okay, for example, these are all leftovers that are going to waste. Instead of throwing them away, I've been saving them up over the last about week. And I'm about to, what I'm gonna do is since I got a nice mix in the compost bands, I'm gonna put all this under the soil in this garden. And then the next video, what I'm gonna do, there's, there's something that I learned about how you could take charcoal and make a nice mixture, like a fertilizer mixture that like, where nutrients stick in the ground from it. That's gonna be the next video I do. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bury all of these nutrients in this soil. So I'll cover this all with this. And then in a few days, I'm gonna make that charcoal and I'll do a video about it. The mixture, I'm gonna put it over this. And what I'm trying to see is without adding compost to the top of this, I'm trying to see will these nutrients with that charcoal mixture be enough to grow this lettuce crop that I'm about to grow. And now look, this will be the first year that I do this because I was growing lettuce and I let the plants bolt. And this was the first time that I actually got the seeds from the lettuce plants. It was like butter lettuce that we was growing. These right here, this is seeds. Look at, look at right here in these pods. If you see right here, those are lettuce seeds. Those are all free lettuce plants. <laughs> Everything we need is free, man. And look, here go the seeds from them lettuce plants. So I'm gonna actually grow these seeds in this soil, I'm gonna see if it works. This will be my first year doing and it. And this is just me experimenting, you know what I mean? So <clears throat> you're gonna see how this all come together. And like I say, this I'm gonna let this the process of getting this soil together, I'm assuming probably gonna take about, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe a week from now. And I'm just kinda gonna dig in the ground and put these scraps right in this soil like this. You see, I had, I had some scraps in there from earlier. I put some right there about four or five days ago. And I'm just gonna keep on doing this. I'm kind of layering the soil with these scraps. And that now over time, what's gonna happen is it's gonna break down. And these nutrients is gonna get into the soil. You know what I mean? And so between, I'm, I'm figuring from between doing this and this charcoal mixture, I'm gonna see what happens. You know what I'm saying? So I'm breaking that up a little bit. Really in the neighborhood over here, it's not really like animals, like raccoons and stuff like that. I haven't dealt with them, so. But I've never put this much leftovers underneath the ground either, so I'll, I'll see if it attracts any type of pest or anything. Here's the thing, here's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, and because of so many of us counting on companies and people that mass produce food with huge farmlands with no trees on them and they're using chemical fertilizers and it's a process of depleting the soil depleting the soil depleting the soil over and over again and because not enough of us are growing food ourselves so we're like really dependent on these different people and companies for our food the ground keeps getting depleted of nutrients and i believe if more of us were to grow food ourself there would start to become more inner community trading like if i got a crop let's say this whole space i got of lettuce and somebody else got strawberries and blueberries growing somebody else got a grove of fruit trees and you know somebody got a, a, a bunch of wheat and they're making flour we could trade crops you get what i'm saying instead of having to go to the grocery store and i feel like so i feel like the best way to start is for people to just start the process of growing their own food man and, and learning, learning how to, especially, and especially being aware of growing the food using a process that over time puts more nutrients into our soil. And you'll see when I move from over here to our next spot, I'm gonna be real intentional about doing just that, putting more nutrients into the soil and, and growing it with a method to where 
like like if I got avocado trees and and mango trees and different fruit trees growing on the property, making a canopy, I'll harvest most of the fruit or whatever, but I'll probably leave 10 to 15% of it to drop back into the ground. And same with the mid-level growth. As it grow up, I chop it down some and just give it back to the ground. So over time, as we're harvesting, 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 the ground is also getting replenished, replenished, replenished. And my goal is kind of just like finances. I feel like agriculturally, we're like agriculturally illiterate, kind of like how a lot of us is financially illiterate. If we're financially intelligent, our money will keep going up. Just like if we're agriculturally intelligent, the nutrients in the ground will keep going up. There's places in the earth that got soil so good. I was watching something on YouTube. It's a place where the soil is so nutrient dense for going down so far. It's like, I don't know what it was, 10, 20 feet down into the ground. It was dense, dense nutrients in the soil and you could literally grow anything. Like it's like they're selling the soil. They're like, and they're trying to reverse engineer and trying to figure, I think it's in South America. They're trying to figure what are these people doing that got so, that got so much nutrients in the ground. You get what I'm saying? So obviously who have, the, the people that, that live over there, they were doing agriculture in a way that made it to where the, the topsoil went down 20 feet or so like of straight nutrients. And if you, if you look right here, look, that's right here. That's about how much topsoil it is. And it's getting down into like rock areas down there. It's coral. So it might be like this much topsoil right here total. Imagine if it was this tall of straight fertile soil. So that's, that's an example of what I'm saying about being agriculturally literate to make the soil nutrients and depth keep going up while we're harvesting because we're doing it in a smart, natural way. If that makes sense, man, leave a comment and let me know it makes sense. If, if it's resonating with you, leave a comment. And another thing, right? What I'm doing is I'm doing my best to connect with as many people that are into agriculture as possible. So. When it comes to my social media, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to connect and I'm down here in South Florida. So if you want to connect, feel free to reach out at brilliantmindedllc at gmail.com. And I'm really, really want to connect with people on different levels. So whatever it is that you got going on, feel free to reach out. Uh, my wife and, and my daughter, uh, check those emails. We're looking forward to connect with you in ways that make sense. So feel free to reach out. My grandpa, he got a garden that grow all type of food every year. And so I used to go fishing when I used to go visit them. And when, when we would catch fish, we'll come home and clean them. And then it'll be like fish heads left and the scraps of the fish, the skin and all of that. What we'll do is wrap it up in newspaper and he'll have me go into the garden and dig a hole and bury it in the garden. And his soil in that garden, his garden probably the size of this whole backyard, right? And so all the soil in his garden, it, it, the soil go at least this deep. It's at least this deep of soil and it's soft. Like the, all the soil is soft and it's a deep brown color. And it, because he keeps adding nutrients to it. Every time there's scraps left over, he don't throw none of them scraps away. It was part of their process. And he, he showed me like I would used to have it, scraps like this. He had me go out there, dig a hole and, and bury it in the garden. I did that, I don't know how many times when I used to go over there and visit over the summers. And so this, that's where I got this from and it worked for him. But this is my first year actually like really doing it on this little piece of land. So look, man, so we got five kids, man. And sometimes food go to waste. I don't like wasting food, but at least doing it like this, at least we're put, giving the nutrients back to the soil. This is the beginning. I'm going to let this kind of marinate in the soil. You get what I'm saying? Look at all of that, all the nutrients in the ground. So now I'm excited to see how this play out. Cause like I said, I'm going to be growing these seeds. The next phase is I'm going to take this charcoal mixture. I'm going to drop. That's the next video I'm going to drop. And I'm going to soak this ground in that charcoal mixture. I'm going to let that marinate. <clears throat> and I'll probably put a little bit more organic material, like, like some of this comfrey plant. I'll talk about that next week. There's another plant over here that I'll probably blend up and mix with that charcoal mixture. And I'm going to drench this ground with that. And then we're going to drop these seeds and we're going to see what happens, man. Hey, my brothers and sisters, I hope this made sense. And like I say, feel free to connect. Until next time, man. Prayers up. Blessings up.